In this lesson, we're going to learn about monopolistic competition in the short run. Now, one of the first things that you notice is that these graphs look very similar to monopoly graphs. Well, in the short run, monopolistically competitive firms can act like monopolies. They have price setting power, meaning that there are strong possibilities that the firms can earn profits as well as losses. Well, for a profit, we find where our marginal revenue equals our marginal cost, our profit maximizing quantity labeled QMC for, for monopolistic competition is labeled here. We bring this up to demand and our price is labeled PMC. And from our demand curve down towards touching average total cost, this entire area represents the short run profit for the firm. Now for the loss, same concept. We find where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We have our profit maximizing quantity, QMC. We bring this up to the demand curve. Remember our demand curve equals the price for the firm. This is labeled PMC. And to accurately label the loss, we must draw our average total cost above the demand curve. And we find our price where it's touching demand. We bring this up to where it hits average total cost and all the way back over. This entire area shaded in black represents the loss for the firm. Now remember, this is just short run possibilities for monopolistically competitive firms. Profits as well as losses. We just looked at the short run monopolistically competitive market where they can earn profits or losses. And in this particular example, since price is above average total cost, this firm is earning short run profits. Well, what about the long run? Well, new firms are attracted into the industry because of low barriers to entry. And as new firms enter the market, the demand for the existing firm's product becomes more elastic and the demand curve will shift to the left and it's going to shift to where it hits this point here on average total cost and we refer to this as being tangent uh, to average total cost. This point right here. This represents what we call a long run equilibrium point. Our prices are going to go down and all the short run profits no longer exist. At this point the firms have reached their long run equilibrium we refer to this as a firm making normal profits or a break even point. Let's go step by step on how to correctly draw and label long run monopolistic competition. Well, first we need to draw our downward sloping demand curve and beneath the demand curve we have marginal revenue we have our upward sloping marginal cost curve and we previously just discussed that the average total cost is tangent to the demand curve but to make this easier let's find our profit maximizing quantity and price before we actually draw and label the average total cost curve. Now 
So I'm going to put a star here. This star represents the tangency points where average total cost is going to hit demand. And we refer to this as the minimum average total cost point. So as soon as it comes down, it's going to hit this tangency point. And then our costs are going to increase. So this represents productive efficiency. The firm is producing at its lowest possible cost. But as you can see, the firm is not allocative efficient because the firm is not producing here. The firm is not producing where demand equals marginal cost. And that represents the socially optimal quantity. And because the firm is not producing at the socially optimal level, we have dead weight loss. This entire area here represents dead weight loss for the long run monopolistic competitive firm. So we have this tangency point. This represents once again normal profits or a break even point for the long run equilibrium monopolistically competitive firm.